Hello my friends, this is Shrek the One Eyed Gamer and uh, just before I get into the, today's topic uh, the gameplay you're watching is the match, another match from the HCU vs UEA clan battle we had this is the search and destroy gameplay uh, where we won so totally awesome, fantastic, I think I, I switched out, I started with the foul uh, but changed up from that uh, I think the scorpion fight for a little change so Anyway, my friends, let's get down to business. Now, as you've seen from the title, the Hardcore Competitive League. Uh, this is not information I've heard uh, from Treyarch or anything. This is my creation. This is my idea. This is what I've come up with for to start a Hardcore Competitive League. Um, it's been something that's been spoken about um, throughout the HCU. I've seen it on Twitter. Um, the HCU boys and stuff, we've all been talking about it. And it would should be pretty it would be pretty epic if it came out for real. Uh, but I think until we make it come out for real, get put into playlists and things like that, we're gonna have to do it ourselves. Uh, so this is gonna be a joint effort. Uh, I would like everyone's feedback on this and everyone else's ideas and thoughts on it. Uh, but this is like my basic draft for a hardcore league that I've come up with. So the re one of the main reasons that I thought of it. Um, a lot more. It's kind of crossed my mind a few times, but the main reason I've thought of it is because you know during the, the HCU clan battle, like uh, um, the connection problems and all this kind of stuff, and host advantage and all these kind of things, yada yada yada. I don't want to go into it too much, but to try and make it the fairest possible way that everyone can can do well. Um, and not complain or anything about it. This is what I've come up with. So, the Hardcore Competitive League is going to be based around three-man teams. So you have to uh, create a three-man team. So it'll be like a three versus three match. Um, the the I thought of doing it. I've thought of a couple of ways of doing it. So like the league system. So the the first season, we'll say, okay, the first season um, is going to be kill confirmed. So we'll play a 3v3 kill, hardcore kill confirmed as like the, the tournament match. Because everyone likes kill confirmed and it's got quite a bit of an objective base to it. Now, of course, kill confirmed as we all know it's to the first two hundred points and that's like 6v6. So I thought with it being 3 versus 3 and obviously they're all going to be in private matches. So cut it down to 50 points a game. So obviously first 50 points wins. Uh, I don't know if we just do an unlimited time limit. Um, it's just whoever reaches 50 points first. Uh, I think that's probably be the best way to do it because sometimes it could take a bit of time depending on you know how everyone's playing. So do an unlimited time limit. Uh, first to 50 points, hardcore kill confirmed. So uh, the way I've thought of it team-wise, I'll get back into the kill confirmed part in a minute. But the way because I've, I've decided not to be three versus three because for me to get the best possible connection when playing with a team. I have to play with you know like he's to you guys from like Team GB, Team Europe type thing, uh, as unknown brute said. So this is kind of implementing this uh, into it, like the East Coast, West Coast, you know HCU kind of stuff. But this isn't just for the HCU. If you if you're not a part of the HCU, you're just a hardcore player and you want to join in this league thing, then please by all means. This isn't just for you. I'm just using the ideas we've thought up of and stuff already. Um, just as the, the main example, so uh, if I take my team, so Team Shrek, okay, that's what we'll call my, I'll call my team Team Shrek just now. We can change the name, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, so my team would be well, obviously myself, Respawno, and Unknown Brute, because we're all from Team Europe, right? So we all, when we all play together and we have host, we will always get all have a four-bar connection, and so we would then go up against. I guess this is just an example. Uh, team GMAC. So G GMAC is on the East Coast, so his teammates, whoever they would choose, obviously, uh, you would have to, you have to choose someone on your uh, where you're from, basically, whatever kind of coastline you're from, wherever kind of area you're from. So GMAC's team would be, let's say, for example, GMAC, Bmon, and Full Metal 88. They're all on the East Coast. So that's their team of three. So when they get host, they'll all have a four bar connection and there can be no problems. So the way playing the game of Kill Confirmed goes and the basis on how to win. So you would play two matches of Hardcore Kill Confirmed and you would both each have a turn of being host. 
So everyone who's in your team is going to have a four bar connection for one game. Um, and there can be no arguing. That's fine. Ever, there can be no complaining. There's no problems there. Now, the way you would think on how to win, how do you win the actual match? Now, you, we can't do a decider match because someone else is going to get host advantage and then that is where the arguments and stuff can arise and complaining can start because it's, it's unfair. We can't have a deciding match. So the way I've thought of how to actually win the game overall... So we'll play obviously first to 50 points, hardcore quick confirmed, a game each on host. Okay, so say first to the first game, first match, this is just an example, uh, obviously Team Ogre against Team GMAC. And the first game, GMAC's team are host and they win the match 50 points to 30. Okay, so second game, Team Shrek gets host, we win the game 50 points to 40. Okay, are you following me so far? <laughs> so. After the two games, you combine the total points that your team made over the two games. So, using that game mode, that match as an example, the first game, GMAX team got 50 points. The second match, they got 40 points. So, that would be 90 points overall. And then, obviously, my team's score was 50 points and then 30 points in the other game. So, that would be 80 points. So, GMAX team would win the overall match. So, it would be 90 points to 80, basically. See, that kind of, I think that seems fair. I think it's a, it's a fair and, and easy way of doing it. So, and I'm then taking in, like, uh, I'll say, well, it's called football, but everybody else will call it soccer. Um, their kind of point system, so if you actually win the match overall, your, your team then earns three points, and that would go on to, like, a league table. And then if you actually draw the match, if, you know, obviously both your scores add up to the same number, of course, so the draw... You would get one point. So then you would go onto the league table either with three points or one point or no points. And the way I've said I've thought of it, so I'm saying for example, say there's six, say there's six teams, six groups of three, um, enter the first season of the league. So the way I would do it, instead of everyone trying to play each other maybe over one weekend, have one match against one team per week. So the that the first season would last for five weeks. So like week one, I would play Team GMAC. Week two, I would play you know Team BLS Strict, and two people he would play with from the East Coast, uh, from the West Coast. Sorry, so it'd be Strict, Saint Lucifer, and Double Tap because they're on the West Coast, so they all have four bar connection if they all when they have host. So I think that seems to be the fairest way of doing it. I think it's the fairest system and and kind of plan I've thought up of over the past you know the past couple of days. Um, I think I think it works, and because instead of instead of trying to everyone play a match on say a Sunday, because we're playing one match a week, so that would be obviously six teams that would be over the course of five weeks. Um, over the course of five weeks, we would play one match. So instead of like say trying to squeeze everything and trying to play everybody on a Sunday or a Saturday or something. As long as you play the one match you're given, so I would come up with, I would do like a video and do like a kind of draw and draw out names from a hat, like team names, and pick, right, okay, week one, you know, Shrek versus GMAC, and then I wouldn't do an, a, a draw every week, I would just pick the basic, the first week set up, I would pick, you know, from a hat, who plays who, and then from there I would just build a schedule, and then I would make a video obviously stating who's playing what and where. You know, um, who's playing what team in what week um, and work it that way so I would just come up with a fixture kind of list of who's playing where and so as long as because we're only playing one match a week the I'm trying to get my words right I don't want to try and confuse you too much sorry <laughs> so because we're only playing one match a week you you have the space of a week to play that match so if obviously if someone can't play at the weekend, organize it with whatever mat, whoever whatever team you're up against. You just message them or tweet them or something and say, okay, we're playing you this week. What day do you want to do it? And then or as long as you play your match within that week, then there's going to be no problem. So then all to, for the results, I, I thought making like a result show video type thing. So every every I don't know every Monday or something or whatever. Once you've played your match, message me the result of it. You know what the what both scores in the game were, and 
you know, who won overall, and I'll create like a league table um, type thing like within the video, and I will announce like the scores, um, and then so everyone else, so we don't all have to like, post videos and gameplays of all the time. We can obviously you can if you want, um, and I'll just announce the scores so everyone else who isn't involved can keep track of the scores. Uh, I would certainly post my gameplays anyway um, of it. Um, so then everyone else can get involved and watch it and, and obviously see how the scores are going and things like that and you know that's my, my basic idea. So I thought obviously because it's going to be 3v3 the maps are going to be need to probably be relatively small uh, I would imagine. Uh, rules wise I, I haven't really thought um, on getting rid of any weapons or getting rid of any score streaks. This is where I want your guys thoughts on it and your ideas and opinions. Uh, because, like I said, this is just a basic kind of first draft idea of it. I'd probably like to start it in maybe the next three or four weeks or so. So we've got, I don't want to just dive straight into it. I want us all to kind of group together and come up with the perfect, you know, the perfect tournament, the perfect league. Now, I also thought because there's the, the first season, the first season that we'd play would be kill confirmed. The second season... So we'd, obviously more teams might want to enter in the season because once the season started, that's how you're committed to do it. I, I believe you can't back out from it because that's fucks shit up. So once you're committed to it, you've got to play. Um, and if the season started, no one else can join until the season's over. That's why I try and keep the seasons as kind of short as possible. So if we had a lot of teams enter, I don't know how I'd actually do it. Uh, but like I would say, for example, the second season, say we could change it instead of being kill confirmed, we can play TDM for a season. And then the next season have a season of domination, and then the next season have a, a season of search and destroy. So we're getting to play all different game modes competitively um, against you know other teams, and everyone is going to get a full um, a full four bar connection, a good connection. Um, so there's going to be no there's going to be no problems there, um, and that is it. That is my thoughts, my friends. That is my idea for the hardcore competitive league. Um, let me know, obviously, let me know your thoughts on it. I think it was uh, pretty cool. Uh, I think it's it's probably the best way I think we can do it, where we can play kind of competitively, um, and we all get good connections, and there's there's going to be no problems. So, everyone, start picking your teams. <laughs> Adios, amigos. Like the video if you did, of course, as always.